Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. So, as you know, Guild War is going on, and we have completed the first day of enhancement and attack period. So, this is Guild War Beta 2, which has some changes from the last Guild War. So, today in this video, I'm gonna show you eight things that have changed or introduced since the last Guild War. So, first of all, multiple magic flutes. So, last Guild War, we could only have like one defense melody and one attack melody. And we used to get these magic flutes from attacking the attack drops from the guild we used to get those flutes from there but now we can have more than one flutes we can have like 10 defense melody and 10 attack melody and we get these from enhancement drops not from the attack drops so even if your fortress is fully enhanced keep playing during the enhancement period for the coming days so that your flute stock gets filled after attack period second is enhancement drop decreased I don't know but I have seen that the tactician scroll drop rates have been decreased from the past guild wars. I mean previous guild war we used to get like a lot of gold treasure boxes, silver treasure box but now it's the rarity is very low. So we are now getting a lot less tactician scrolls as we used to get in the last guild war so maybe Wanda has reduced the drop rates on those. So third we have new items for enhancement period. So nowadays necklace and crimson four leaf clover so you can read the description and notice so these were present in the first guild war but we had like zero quantity and no drops for these but now they can be obtained from guild attack item drops but we can only have like one each for both of them fourth we have new guild fortress installation anti shinobi horse cannon 2 so some of the new terrain sets have this installation which shoots multiple missiles in the air for the whole floor and causing damage no other effect whatsoever just damage and even if it is destroyed the last missiles that the installation shoots in the air still hits the ground even if it is destroyed so yeah so fifth we have new fortress large animal added for a guild now one tails has been added to one of the terrains and the second one is level 10 perfect form susano if you remember the Madara Rikit Sam, we had Madara Perfect Susano as Sam boss. It's the same one with very high stats and same attack patterns as Sam. It's very good and it's highly recommended that you use this in your guild fortress. As you can see, it does a huge amount of damage and consumes a lot of time. So ask your guild leader to choose the terrain set with this Susano. So sixth, we have new terrain sets added for the guild fortress. So it has like additional terrain sets, uh, especially the ones with the new perfect form Susano and one tails. So I strongly recommend using terrain set number 14. So contact your guild leader if you want terrain set 14 as a guild base. So seventh, we have guild attack item drops. If you remember, we used to get like four or five item drops in the previous guild war which had some chakra, ryo, magic flutes etc. So this time we have like 50 or 40 item drops from the guild attack and it also has fortress medals, ability points, factory medals, ryo, chakra and the new sonade necklace and crimson four leaf clover. So 8th we have new special boosted shinobis. So these change every enhancement day. This time we have Madara, Kabuto, EMS, Rene Sharingan and Indra. Previous announcement day we had Hashirama, KLM, Edo Minato, Sixpath, Naruto and Ashura. So these were the new things and additions in the Guild War beta version 2. I hope I covered everything. If I forgot something, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe and hit that bell icon. Follow my social medias, links in description. I will see you next time. Sayonara. <laughs>